Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Battle Brothers. And I just finished off a battle with some Brigand Raiders that went quite well. We did have a couple injuries, one of which is this uh, pierced arm muscle, which is going to reduce his uh, melee and range skill. And we have some light wounds across the board. But the more important thing is we got to level up on the one character we've been waiting for a level up. Before we do that, though, let's go through the rest of our men here. So we have a couple more of these uh, ancient helmets here that we're going to want to replace with these helmets here. As f the front line has at least that level of helmet as is. So this is going to actually improve the overall fatigue of the men. Because as you can see, the difference, we're losing uh, three fatigue more or less by having that other uh, set of helmets and I will probably end up selling the ancient helmets I don't think I'm going to even maybe keep one in reserve because at this point we've got other uh, equipment in reserve so I don't think we need to keep that in reserve at all okay so let's do our level ups so first one's first Alric the one that is really going to matter all right so I've been kind of ignoring defense quite a bit so I think Let's start working on that. So we're going to give him a little bit of ranged defense. And I kind of want to give him resolve too. So fatigue, I think, is always important. Although hit points, we rolled quite well here. And I don't know if I've ever really uh, given this guy uh, any hit points. So let's go ahead and do that. We want him to have some survivability. But resolve is going to be important because he's going to be the rally man. So we want him to be able to get the best benefit out of that. So let's give him that resolve as well. All right. So he's done with his level up. Let's go on to his perks. So for sure, I'm going to take rally the troops. This is going to make him the sergeant of our squad, at least as far as I understand. So... It's going to give him the rally skill, which uh, raises the morale of any uh, of all nearby allies to a steady level. The higher the resolve of the character using the skill, the higher the chance to succeed. So, uh, of course, we want to give it to him because he has the highest resolve of any of our characters at a total of 60 at the current uh, time. So let's go ahead and do that. And... Uh, I think we're good to go as far as i understand let's see what this says triggers a morale check to rally fleeing allies with within four tiles distance and he's in the middle so that works with a bonus to resolve of plus 24 on uh this character's resolve uh, triggers a morale check to raise the morale of anyone wavering or worse within tiles okay so yeah so just different uh levels and the further they are away from him for that second check the lower the resolve bonus is so Interesting. Okay, so obviously the closer men are going to are going to work out. All right, so we got that. Now let's get our other level ups going. So this man is going to level up to level four, which is good to see. And again, it's been a while. I mean, I haven't really been focusing on defense very well. These guys are frontliners. They need to have defense. So I think we're going to go both defensive skills here. This guy has pretty good attack at this point. And... Either hit points are or fatigue. I think we go fatigue here. And then we have this level of skill. I'm going to go with Brawny. I think that's the best route because this is really hamstringing him as far as fatigue, having all this gear. So we go Brawny. And he gains quite a bit of fatigue. But in the future, as we up armor him, it will affect him less. Okay, uh, then we have this man here in the back line. Probably not going to give these guys any better armor than they already have. Uh, so Gambeson is probably as good as I'm going to go back here. So with that in mind, let's see what we've got. Now, defense isn't as important in the back line. Attack skill definitely is. So we're going to go with that. I think we get some resolve, perhaps, because this guy is our banner carrier. And then I'll go with initiative. Why not? So, good there. He's got the, the dodge skill anyway, does he not? Perhaps he doesn't. I guess this is one of the men we didn't give the dodge skill to. Oh, well, let's go through here. I believe one of these should be a polearm mastery. Polearm mastery. Okay, master polearms in keeping the enemy at bay. Skills 
build up 25% less fatigue. I'm not sure I really care about that. Repel and Hook will now also stagger any target hit, moving it to the end of the turn order. Well, that seems pretty good. And then we also get a plus 5% uh, percent chance to hit. View range and maximum firing range with bows is increased by 1. An additional 20% of damage inflicted with the crossbow ignores armor. I'm just looking at that in case we finally get a level up here. Well, I think I'm going to go with the Polar Mastery uh, with this man. As we do want to give him a higher chance to hit for sure, but also making his skills cost the less fatigue. I mean, I don't really necessarily care about that. And frankly, he doesn't really, I don't really use the skills of the polearm guys, but at the same time, he adds in that extra effect of staggering the opponent, which I think could be pretty useful and might make those skills more beneficial. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that. And this man also levels up. So, yet again, attack skill is going to be important in that back line. And then outside of that, I like Resolve. And we might go Initiative as well. Okay. And you have the Dodge skill, so that Initiative is going to matter for you. Okay, so... The backstab seems to be the best course of action for these guys. It makes their attack uh, chances so much better fighting in the back line because the front line gives them that surround bonus that gives them a good attack bonus. So I think that we're going to go with that. And that's all of our level up. So we got our objective. And now we just need to go to a new town. So I'm going to go down to, I think, Honau, or I could go down to... Uh, Schwertberg here. I think we're kind of already going in that direction, so let's go over there, and then maybe we'll go back to Hohenau another time. I at least think this is a... Ooh, this is probably not a location we can get jobs, so let's go to Hohenau, because that is definitely a location we can get jobs. I didn't pay attention to what we looted, if there was anything in that uh, stash that we wanted to sell. I do have a limit on my stash, so I don't want to keep things in there. I mean, we want to sell these, for sure. So we could stop at Wisenhaus, sell our stuff, and then go from there. I don't think I bought any bread when I was in town either, so that might be worth getting. Just to give us some food. Okay. Well, we can't sell anything, though, because it's nighttime. So why don't we just go down... Why don't we just go down to Hohenau while, while it's nighttime? Hopefully we'll get uh, some of these injuries cleared up. Okay, an ambition fulfilled. You are unsure at first about assigning Alaric to this important task for... He was as committed to revelry and carousing as any other man, but Auric takes his duties with a zeal that is at first admirable and later worrying. Scoffing at dawn as the rising hour of the, coward, of the cowardly and infirm, Auric decides that everyone must start the day much earlier. He runs the men through the usual sparring routines and checks their equipment for splits and wear. But to such light work, he adds strict rules about... Setting up and breaking camp, formation drills, lessons on flanking, forced marches with stones in their packs, and a detailed punishment regime for anyone who dares fall behind. Words such as breaking, uh, backbreaking, cruel, flint-hearted, or merciless, as well as a dozen of dozens of saltier epithets, ring in the air whenever Arik is safely out of earshot. Though never when he is. In, I'm sorry, though never when he is sleeping, for the brothers have learned that Alaric the sergeant never truly sleeps. Okay, the company gained renown. Alaric is now known as Alaric the sergeant. You gain a sergeant's sash. Alaric the sergeant is in good spirit. Everybody's in good spirit, pretty much. Okay, good. So, uh, what is that sash all about? And where did it end up? There it is. Yeah, yeah, a sash worn by the company sergeant, your second in command on the battlefield. It gives him plus 10 resolve. That sounds pretty good. Let's, uh, let's equip that. When it actually shows up on his character, too. That's awesome. 
I love a lot of the design choices that this game has done, for sure. The fact that all of the things that you wear reflect on the character is pretty cool. Okay, let's go back down to Ho Honau and take care of business. Now, I don't know what our relationship with Honau is. It's probably been a little while since we've been there. So they're, they're still open with us, though, so that's not too bad. And where are we on the Renown track? We're professional, 1251. Now, I did check not that long ago. At the professional level, we were unable to take any of the noble contracts. Okay, so we do have a job here. It's one skull. That seems like a good deal. I am going to end up getting rid of these ancient household helms. I don't think we need to keep those around anymore. And these are just going to shift around a little bit. Uh, I am going to get rid of the Militia Spear, because we do have another one of these Boar Spears, so we have a little bit of a, a backup. In case we lose one of our Spearmen and we don't get the Spear back. Uh, at this point, I think we have enough backup uh, pole arms as well that we don't need to keep these Pitchforks around, so we're going to sell those. Okay. Tools are being sell sold pretty well here. Let's go ahead and buy a couple of those. And we do have another set of bandages. And to fill out that demand, I believe it was this man, did not have bandages. Oh, okay, you can't have bandages and a dog. Well, we can put it in our inventory, though, nonetheless. Okay, so... That's a good lesson, and considering that I might go the, the full dog route... Let's see what else is in this town. So we've got an armorer. We might want to end up trading with the armorer here. Is there anything else here, though, that we'd want? Not that I can see, but let's take a look at this armorer. Okay, so the armorer has some armor, no surprise. I probably want this male shirt. That's going to be the only thing I can't afford here. We might want to try... This should be an upgrade over the armor we have, though. The padded uh, kettle hat. As opposed to the... Yeah, so this is 110. That was 100... What? 100 and... 140. But I think body armor is still going to be my main priority here. So I'm going to go probably with this male shirt. And we'll give that to Alric. And we'll go from there. But I'm not going to buy it yet. We also have uh, the Lamellar armor. I'm not going to buy it yet because we have that one skull job. And the one skull job could make my relationship with this town better. So let's see what it is. Dark the Treasurer's got two papers in hand. They are faces sketched onto them. We caught these two the other day. Hanged them. Burned the remains. You shrug. Congratulations. The man is not very amused. Now we've gotten word that their brigand friends are coming to exact revenge on us. And yes, we need your help to fight them off. Are you interested? Okay, what are you prepared to pay? All right, they're going to pay me 620. It's only one skull, though. Interesting. All right, well, uh, we'll ask for more money. All right, he did up his offer, so 680. I'll accept the offer. That seems pretty good. Keep us around town. And... I need some time to think about it, though. The reason I say that is because we still have those injuries. That's going to take me two to four days. All right, here's a thought. We go up to uh, Weisenhaus, we treat the injury, and then we come back down. That seems like a good idea. And... What do you have here? Wooden staff with a spike metal. Okay. 30, 45, 25, 55. Okay. Well, I am tempted to arm Gunther with the the flail instead of the sword because of his, his ability to do more damage to somebody if he hits them in the head. But I think we're going to keep him with the sword for now. Just because of the fatigue factor of carrying that heavier weapon. Alright, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Wisenhaus. We're going to go to the temple. And treat the one injury we have. Because it's, it's a pretty bad injury that's going to take a while 
to heal, and it is, uh, you know, it has heavy effects. And then after that's done, I'm going to come back and take that job. I find it interesting that uh, we have these companies now uh, sitting in the town. So there was a militia in Honau. Here we have some soldiers. I wonder if there's, uh, you know, because there is a, a condition of war uh, for the end game that could happen. I'm curious. All right, so we're going to heal this up, or treat it, anyway. And then... Let's do some business here. We know that they're selling bread for undervalue. Uh, also, uh, these linen shirts, I'll sell those. We don't need to keep those around anymore. We've got other uh, gear that we can have people wear if we hire them on new. And we lose whatever armor we have. And... Probably good. So I bought one thing of bread, right? Or did I not? I don't think I bought the bread yet. So let's go ahead and buy that. And we'll leave. Now let's come back. Let's see where our injuries are. So yeah, one day. I'm hoping the time it takes us to walk back to Hoenau, he'll get better. And... Go from there. So, salt mine, wheat fields... And an iron vein. As a matter of fact, he's the only one that still has injuries. I happen to know that the way that this job works is you have to kind of patrol around the, the town for a period of time until the brigands show up. It's possible in patrolling we will rest up and get that injury healed. I'm, I think, going to make camp here. And we'll do that until the man heals his injury. And I'm also doing this because I know a, a period of time is going to pass and I don't want to fight these guys at night. So... We'll go through the night. This costs me money. Time is money, but... I think it's the right strategic decision. Okay, during camp. Well, we needed this to happen anyway. As is customary, you assemble the men to explain the company's next steps. Brothers, the Mouse's Cadets must show the world we are forged of a hotter fire than other mercenary bands. As our reputation grows, so will the influx of crowns to our coffers. Let us forge a path to greatness. What do you tell the men, the company will do. All right, so this is where we have three choices. We need to catch the eye of one of the noble houses for more profitable work. They play their own dangerous game, but what does it matter as long as they, the pay is good? Let us set out into the wilderness, discover the unknown, and plunder it. Be it a wizard, tomb, goblin camp, or aught else we may find. Let us uh, set aside skirmishers for now and seek to defeat a group of at least a dozen opponents. That is how our name will become known throughout the land. Now, I'm trying to remember, didn't we uh, fight a skeleton band that was uh, a dozen opponents? Of at least a dozen opponents? So that's something we technically already done. And I think this is the one we're going to do, because it's a, it, there's a good chance that we'll encounter this. I don't know when we're going to uh, unlock the Noble Houses. It could be soon. But I think this is probably the safer bet. I mean, there's no guarantee that we'll fight someone that's 12 in size, but we technically have already done that in one of these jobs. And it's possible that this job we're just now about to take is a dozen men, just a dozen men of, you know, crap, crap quality, so not all that difficult. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take this one. And we already kind of know what we're going to have to do th with that. Okay, so it's morning. And he still has that injury, huh? Alright, well... There's brigands going by. It's only seven, so... Okay, uh, that's probably good enough. Let's go into town. Take the job. I'm hoping that with however many hours it takes that this man will recover from his wound. 
and we'll be good to go. Uh, there's no guarantee of that, of course. But I definitely want to go into town here. Uh, we did uh, consume all the tools they had. Okay, well, let's go ahead and take the contract. Okay, so we already t talked to him about it. Wait, what? Oh, I, I only have a short period of time to do this. You are to receive 200 crowns when the contract is done. All right, so maybe I waited too long. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. All right, well, my bad. I was trying to get my men into a state where they could do such a job, but... I didn't pay attention to what this uh, job is here that we're taking, but I still want to take it. 210 crowns. I, I want to have a little bit more money than that. 220. All right, I'm assuming it's some kind of courier job. I accept your offer. Okay, air escort uh, caravan to this town. I'm not exactly sure where that is, but I'm going to accept this contract. Okay, leave. All right, let's let's uh, let's stop here for a second. Where is this town? All the way over there, and it's only 220 crowns. Really? Well, my game plan was to buy armor from Hoenau, but now we're going to be well, 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 well far away from that. Oh, they're taking us an interesting way to get there. Oh, there's a road that goes up this way. I wasn't aware of that. Well, here we go. Hopefully there's no fighting to be done. With how much money we're going to make. During camp, while relaxing after the day's uh, walk, Burkhard comes up to you with a pair of dice and a cup in hand. He asks if you wish to have a little game. The rules are quite simple. You roll the dice from the... Uh, from the cup, whoever has the highest number wins. It's pure chance. The wager will be 25 crowns per dice roll. Uh, I'm just going to say I have no time for this. I'm an honorable man. I don't gamble. Okay, so far, so good. Now, this is, I think, one of the places we went towards and it ended in catastrophe when a goblin, goblin wolf riders murdered us, but so far, so good. Okay, well, we got there, and now we have 220 crowns. Well, that's okay. Let's go into town. Okay, there is a three skull job. They are having uh, missing villagers, which might be the three skull job. There's nothing really exciting over here. So I'm just going to leave. I think I'm going to go over to this town just to see what's over there. There. Oh, you know what? I have always uh, kind of forgot. If you hover over town, it tells, it tells you what's there. All right, so I'm not really interested. What's over here? Weaponsmith. What's in Gevenstein? Armor Tavern. Grappenberg. A kennel. I kind of do want to go to where a kennel is, but we can't make those people like us anymore. There's nothing in Dornthal. Which is interesting, because that's, the I think, the town we started in. The fact that there's no special buildings there. Tavern Fletcher. Temple Harbor Tavern Barber. Okay. Armor weapons. Okay. So there's only a couple kennels on the map from what I can see. And that's uh, over here. An Adler walk. There's a kennel. And then over in... Is Grafenberg? Yeah, Grafenberg. All right, well, I'm going to go down to uh, Gemenstein, I think. I could go over here just because it's nearby. But that's, uh, that's going to be a place where we can only get noble contracts. Well, you know what? Why don't we hop over there just to see if we can take one. Uh, no, let's go to Gammonstein. Well, I wasn't, uh, very happy with that job. I would have preferred the... I would have preferred the, uh, job that was offered to us before, but... I, 
I, I guess I forgot that you can only wait so long on a job before it goes away. Well, I guess the upside of doing that one trip is now my man is healed, so we could take a job like that. Okay, we've got two One Skull contracts, so I'll take a look at what those are. And... We've got a tavern here. My men should be in good spirits. Oh, or it's worn off, I guess. What's uh, what's up with their spirits? What what are they thinking about? So they're still worried about uh, Gerald dying. All right, well, I think this is a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. So we'll take a look at what those jobs are in Gemenstein, and we'll go from there. But in any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.